Senator, let me ask you a question finally on the yeah. opioid crisis. We heard the yes. president roll out uh, his plan, his strategy for trying to combat the opioid crisis. Part of that is, um, of course, the death penalty, he says, for some, some drug dealers, also treatment and prevention. What do you make of that strategy? Well, first of all, uh, the president has said repeatedly that he views this as his number one uh, policy uh, focus for this year. Last year, he declared uh, a public health emergency. But it has been words so far that haven't been followed with adequate action. I'm heartened that he was in one of the states most hard hit by this epidemic. Certainly, Wisconsin is struggling, and I hear from so many of my constituents. The omnibus that is about to come for uh, the Congress this week um, should have uh, significant new funding to focus on prevention, treatment, recovery, all the elements that need to come together. But when you talk about accountability and the president's uh, reference to the death penalty for drug dealers, let's look at accountability throughout the spectrum. Let's talk about the pharmaceutical companies that produce these addictive opioids that need to be held accountable. Let's talk about the changes that still need to happen within the community that prescribes these drugs to better understand how addictive they can be, and alternatives for pain treatment uh, for those who come into addiction through that route.